This is Riven Lehrer. I'm back with another screencast describing how to use the NetLogo model in Commons. Today I'm going to show you how to log in and register, register and log in with the model in Commons. As we saw in the previous screencast, you actually don't need to register or log in or just to view models and run them. But the moment that you want to actually share things with other people, and we do hope that you will want to share your models with others, well, you'll need to register and log in in order to do that. And I'm going to show you how that works. Uh, you go to modelingcommons.org, our URL, and you click on this link, register, share, and participate. And here we have our registration form. Uh, and here I enter my first name, and last name, my email address. I am a male. So I'm going to leave out my birthday because it's optional. Here's my password. Um, I should know that the passwords are all encrypted on our system. So once you've entered it and it's been stored, there's no way for us to retrieve it for you. However, we can always reset your password and send you a new one, which you can then use to log in once again, and then you can always go back and change your password. Uh, there's also then this uh, user agreement, this uh, disclosure form that describes what we're going to do with this data and why we're asking for all this demographic information and not just your email address and your password in order to register. Uh, the reason is that the Modeling Commons is not just a website for NetLogo users, it's also a research project that we are running at the CCL, the Center for Connected Learning and Computer-Based Modeling at Northwestern University. And um, in order to better understand how people use the Modeling Commons, how people collaboratively model, how people uh, take advantage of the features that we've included here, uh, we are asking you to uh, provide this demographic information, and we indicate how we're going to use it and how we're going to protect your privacy in this agreement. So once you've read it, hopefully agree to it, I'll register, and this will send email to the address that you gave us, um, confirming that you are registered, but it also just logs you in. So since I gave RuvenNU, LearnNU as my name, now I'm logged in. I can always edit that. I can always go to the Edit Personal Details page and change any of these details, including giving myself a new picture. Let's give myself a new picture. A mini headshot, as I call it. Update my account. Here we go. And now you can see my picture is there, and my name is there as well. Well, other than having a picture, what is the big advantage of registering and logging in? Well, if I click on my name here, I go to my personal home page. My personal home page reflects the models that are of interest to me, the things that I've been doing, and the things that people I know have been doing. So, since I haven't done anything yet, these boxes are going to be pretty empty. But here are the most viewed models of all time. Here are the most viewed models in the last two weeks. Here are the models that have received the most recommendations in the last two weeks, the ones that have been downloaded the most. And social tags, which I'll talk about another time, the ones that have been used most often. So let's go to uh, the Ants model, which has been recommended a number of times. And you'll see here that this model was written by Urlansky. It is within the group CCL. That is a permissions thing, which we'll describe another time. Uh, but it's visible to everyone, and it's changeable by members of that group. Uh, but right now, I'm not interested in changing anything. I'm just interested in running the model. And you can see that I can go, just as when I was an anonymous user, I can go and click and run the model inside of my browser. As usual, it takes a little bit of time for the Java applet uh, backend to load into the browser, but once it has loaded, we have our model, click on setup, go, and here we have our ANTS model, the traditional ANTS model that's well known in the modeling community. Uh, but I also, if I go back to that first tab, see the discuss tab here? Not only does it show a discussion, a, a posting from Mori Wilensky from about a year ago, but it allows me to enter things as well. That's because I'm logged in. If you're not logged in, then you're not allowed to participate in the discussion. Uh, and there are many other things that I can do having been having logged in. I can uh, upload new versions if I'm a member of this group. I can set social tags. Basically, logging in means that I'm an active participant in the community. I'm not just going to enjoy other people's models. Now, once I'm done using the modeling commons, if I'm on my own computer, I can just close the browser window. If I'm on a public computer, then I should probably log out so that no one else can use my account. Log out, and it says you've been logged out. And there we go. Now, we can see, because it says register to share and participate, uh, I've been logged out, that confirms the message that I received, and now I can go away until the next time I want to use the modeling commons. Uh, there are many other screencasts where this one came from, describing different features of the modeling commons. I hope you will uh, watch them and enjoy them, and that they will be useful. If you have any questions, comments, or bug reports about the modeling commons, please do send them to me. My email address is reuven at learner.co.il, and I very much look forward to hearing from you, and I hope you enjoy the modeling commons.